Hello everybody, good to be with you. So today, what I wanna talk about is what is the fastest way to come to know your true nature? I mean, this is what we're all really after, isn't it? What's the fastest way that I can, quote, get there? That's what, that's what we feel. I was a seeker for 24 years. I know exactly how I felt. I know exactly how you feel if you're a seeker. Also, if you're in post-awakening and you're confused, I know what you're feeling too. And if you're in post-awakening and you're not confused, I'm not so sure of that one. <laughs> but uh, the others I can certainly identify with. Okay, so um, what, let's address the fundamental problem in non-duality. There's a, there's a flaw. I mean, I, I hate to say it's a flaw because we've been doing it for 6,000 years. You know, it's hard, kind of hard to argue with sixty uh, with six thousand years, until you start to look at results. We've been trying to get people. We've, we've been trying to wake up in a given way for six thousand years, and I just notice it doesn't work very well. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm saying it doesn't work very well. How do I know? There are millions of people around the world who are not awake that want to be, and they're going about it all the wrong way. I'm not saying it's the wrong way for them. I'm just saying from this teaching's perspective, they're going about it the wrong way. I can guarantee you from this teacher's per teaching's perspective, they are going about it the long way, okay? So we, we don't want nothing to do with a long way here because there's no path to awakening. You've got to get this through your heads. If, if you're, if you're going to get anything at all, get this there's no path to awakening there really is not don't let anybody tell you that there's a path to awakening i don't care what kind of path it is if it's a path it's not about awakening it may say it is it may think it is it may feel like it is it may look like it is but it's not it's not to say that they're not valuable uh, many valuable teachings by people i love out there there are teachings out there valuable and beautiful by people i love but that's not what we're talking about right now. We're talking about what's the fastest way to get to know true nature. And I'm telling you that by my estimation, we've been doing it wrong. So there it is. It's just a bold statement, but I will make it. So the fundamental problem in non-duality is always, it's never about what, this unit has to do in order to wake up. And when we listen to a teacher, we think that that teacher is a unit talking to another unit. And I'm not saying that's not, that's not, not sometimes the case, but um, in general, what I want to tell you is that it was never, um, the language just screws me up here. So in general, it will, not, uh, it, it will not be a unit teaching you. In general, the people I know, it's gonna be a whiteness teaching you. The problem is, is in the way you accept that. When the teacher says, well, this is the way it is, it's a certain way, da, 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 and we think that a unit has just told this unit how things are. But that can't happen because there's, there's no inhabited teacher puppet out there. There are lots of uninhabited teaching puppets out there, but there are not any inhabited teaching puppets out there, not authentic teaching puppets. There are, I, I imagine there's a good many uh, inhabited, I imagine there's a hell of a lot, as a matter of fact, of inhabited uh, teaching units, but the people that, that, that you usually are talking to when you come to talk to me, people you've been following when you come to talk to me, uh, those people, there are no, no units there. Uh, there's no one inhabiting that unit, and they know that. Uh, they really do. They would, they'd be the first to tell you. Nonetheless, what do we assume? We assume that that's the wise, enlightened one over there. And the wise, wise enlightened one is going to tell us the, the, the perhaps 
almost surely unworthy um, seekers uh, how to become worthy, right? How to become pure, how to become clean, how to wake up. What practices to do? They're going to give us a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, I mean, that whole, uh, that whole idea is just so absurd. Now, if you, if you uh, do a YouTube search for Fred Davis practice menu, you will see it will come up with a bunch of videos you can watch and their practices that you can try. Understand something that it's not a unit that's telling you about those and understand the other thing is it's not addressing. They're not, those, those practices are not addressing a unit and there's no time involved with those. There's no, I want you to do this over and over and over again, because down the line somewhere, there's going to become a happy accident and you're going to wake up. Bullshit. You wake up now or never. You wake up here or nowhere. So I'm going to recommend that you just go ahead and wake up during this video. You can do it. You think you can't, but you can. I promise you. I have people write me all the time about my videos, and most of them are not nearly so clear and plain and out front as this one is going to be. So the problem is, number one, who's teaching? And I'm not saying it's the problem is the teacher. I'm saying it's our projection of who's teaching. We think there's someone over there teaching us over here, and that's not true. Within relativity, that's true, but we're not talking about relativity right now. We're not blowing off relativity either. We're just noticing that relativity is not going to be the most skillful method. Going through relativity is not the most skillful method of waking up. If it was, millions of people would be awake who are not. So the first problem is who's teaching and understand that when I'm teaching you this, this is not a Fred Davis. There is no Fred Davis inside this unit. There is no body inside this unit. This is a completely uninhabited teaching unit. It's a teaching puppet. It is. It's a, it's a teaching meat puppet. <laughs> right? <laughs> just, I don't know what to do, right? It's just moved along. It doesn't move along. It is moved along. It doesn't change its mind. Change occurs. It doesn't make up its mind. Uh, uh, decisions happen, but nobody makes them. That's from over here or over there. But over there, you may think you make some decisions. It's all right. That's, you, you can believe that just as long as you're willing to suffer for it. I have no problem with that. <laughs> but I personally have given up with it. I'll give up on given up on that. The second problem. And this is even more critical than the first misunderstanding. More important even than who is teaching is understand that it's awakeness is teaching you. That's who's teaching you here. There, I can't say it's not colored by some Fredness because there's Fredness conditioning here. This is a sack of conditioning. And what the truth that's coming through this thing is gonna get a little warped. Hello, nothing I can do. I'm using language. It's the only tool I've really got with you, but it's, uh, it's a ridiculously insufficient means of uh, carrying, of telling the truth. So the second most important thing is not understanding who's teaching, not just understanding who's teaching, but it's understanding who's being taught. For 24 years, I was a seeker. For 24 years, I thought I was a Fred Davis. And for 24 years, I was sure that this is what a Fred Davis looks like. And I was wrong. Now, you can be wrong for 24, hours, for 24 years if you'd like to. I have no problem. Some of you have already been through 24 years. And if some of you have been through 30 or 40, I know, I talked to you, 50. You know, uh, and, and two people over 60 years on the path. The only problem, they were, they were very successful on the path. 
<laughs> only problem is they didn't know who, know who the hell they were. They were missing just that one little part, and that one little part is the only part that really counts. So who's being taught? I thought this unit was supposed to wake up. I thought Fred Davis was supposed to, whatever the hell that was, I thought it was this, but I thought Fred Davis was supposed to wake up. I thought this unit was supposed to wake up. I thought this guy over here, so-and-so's husband, so-and-so's employee, whatever, is, should, I thought that was the one that should wake up, and damn it, it was the one I couldn't understand why it couldn't wake up. Well, the chief reason it couldn't wake up is that there was no one there to wake up. See, awakening is coming to see that there is no character here. That there's, that there's a body here, at least within relativity. There is a body here. I mean, it's an object in relativity. But it's not inhabited by a person or a soul or a, uh, or a spirit or any, I use the word spirit sometimes. It, it's harmless except unless you believe it so if you hear me say that just go oh i see he, he, that's a, just that's just a a, um, a a skillful lie that fred's telling us because that's what i do is i tell you skillful lies that's what this is it's a skillful lie because i can't actually tell you the truth but i can tell you the truth much much more easily if you quit trying to wake up that unit you quit trying to wake up that character. Leave that character alone. <laughs> it's not there, so it's easy to leave alone. This unit cannot wake up. I mean, it has the same capacity to wake up as this glass, right? The difference being, see the water in this glass? This glass is inhabited. <laughs> This is not. There's Hurricane Fred, which is, you know, all these patterns of the thunder and lightning and flood and all that. And the, they, these patterns, they sort of, uh, they sort of cooperate uh, symbiotically. Just, I mean, it's not like they make a decision <laughs> any more than you or I do. See, it just happens. But the difference is, is that with the hurricane pattern, no one's saying, well, I'm gonna be Hurricane Bob and I'm gonna be the biggest hurricane ever. <laughs> You know, it's just, that's not the way nature works, but it's the way our minds work. So we think this seeker is supposed to wake up and it's just gonna be great when he does. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna add something, we're gonna add something to the insufficient unit, to the unit that has been less than all of its life. It didn't Even if it didn't notice it, but most of us notice it. I mean, everybody that's here that has, had a moment of, uh, or maybe lots and lots and lots of moments like I have, where, uh, you know, I'm just not good enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not attractive enough, I'm not rich enough, my parents aren't rich enough, we don't drive the right car, I don't live in the right house, don't even live in the right neighborhood, I don't have the right job, um, and, uh, you know, I'm just less than, I'm just less than, everybody else here apparently got an owner's manual and they forgot to mail me one. So I don't know what the hell is going on here. It looks like everybody else does, but they don't either. It's just the way it looks. That's when you're comparing your side insides to their outsides and, and, and think you're coming up a loser, but it's not true. Compare your insides with their insides and hell, you could be a step above. Who knows? Because there's, there are really frighteningly few confident units in the world. And somebody who's tremendously competent is probably trying to overcome a lack of confidence. Someone who's tremendously uh, confident, is what I meant to say, is probably covering up for the belief that there's not enough here to be confident amid all of you guys with your splendid ways. And all I got is this? I mean, I'm just this? This is what I'm supposed to get along with this? Are you kidding me? Right? I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't accept this. Hmm. 
but I have to. But I'm not this. However, and there is no Fred Davis, but let me give you a good piece of advice. There's no character there. Be easy on them anyway. This is not non-dual philosophy where we got hard lines. We know what we can do. We know what we can't do. We know what's possible. We know what's impossible. Plenty of people out there that know all that. I don't know all that. All I know is what works. I'm really a very simple man with a very simple teaching. And, uh, but the good news is, is that it is, it is incredibly effective. And it's not because it's my teaching. There's no one here. <laughs> it's because awakeness is utilizing this unit in the same way that a carpenter uses a hammer. And the difference between this and a hammer is that a hammer never thinks <clears throat> that the house is all about him. And this one sometimes does. See, I should be telling you that there's, that there's never any hint of arrogance over here. Jesus, there's arrogance all over the place here. And it is, there is, I mean, that's just what, that's the way the unit's made. I'm sorry. Because you had to have somebody arrogant to even, I mean, you had to have an arrogant unit to even run this teaching through them. They were going to have to be uh, arrogant because everybody else was going to tell them they were wrong and they were going to, con and they were going to continue to do it anyway. You got to have arrogance. So they got an arrogant unit. The good news is, is that most of the time I recognize what's really going on and there is not too much, hopefully, of an example of arrogance here. But there's no one here to be arrogant. There's just no one here to be arrogant. That's the thing to see. No one here. So you, whoever it is, that the, when I was going through it as a seeker, I thought they were all trying to teach Fred to wake up. But there's no Fred. So how in the hell are they going to wake up something that isn't here? Listen to this. Listen to this. Accept this for just a minute. Would you? I mean, you don't have to. You can suffer if you want, but I'm just saying I'm just like to offer an alternative to that. But you don't have to take it. You don't have to do anything. Matter of fact, you never do anything. So when I'm talking over there, it's I'm addressing nonetheless flesh and blood. I get that, but uh, it, it, within the construct of, of relativity, so I'm mindful of that. But flesh and blood is all an illusion. But we don't need to go into that here. It's not because we're just, here. We're just talking about the basics, man. What's the fastest way that I can wake up? What's the fastest way? Well, recognize who it is that awakeness over there through the guise of some enlightened teacher or friend or neighbor, enlightened guy on the street, whatever, it make any difference. They don't even have to be enlightened. They could just, I mean, from the mouths of babes, right? But it doesn't hurt if they're enlightened. So what are they trying? What is, is, what is awakeness over there? Because that's when I sit down in the meeting, I notice that I'm, and that I'm always speaking to awakeness. Awakeness has always got the other chair. Always. So I can only talk to awakeness. And guess what is talking back? Awakeness. So we got to understand that an attempt to wake up is an attempt for a whiteness to come to recognize a whiteness in that chair. I don't care if it looks like a Bob or a Susan. I don't care. It can't be a Bob or a Susan. How do I know? Well, the fundamental teaching of all non-duality, all of it, from Advaita to Zen and, 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 and beyond, is that there's just one thing going on. 
So if there's just one thing going on, can there be a Bob, a Susan, and a Fred, and whoever the hell is watching this? No. Mm -mm. It's just one thing. See, and what the one thing, the only thing the one that, that can teach is the one thing, awakeness itself. And the only thing awakeness itself can teach is it, awakeness itself, the one thing. See, this is, I talk about the, this in, in session, it's the math of one. <laughs> this is the trickiest math on the planet. I've helped, uh, I've helped physicists and mathematics professors and all of that come to see that, uh, that they know a whole lot more than I do, but I, that I do know something about the math of one and they don't know a thing about it. They just they th would think that if you ask them, they would probably tell you they do, but you ask them the right questions, they will tell you they don't know. And then I ask the right questions. So this character, the thing that thinks it's a seeker, cannot wake up. Or the, that, that this is, uh, oh, let me. <laughs> The, the seeker cannot wake up. Pardon me, let me back up. It was slip in language. The seeker cannot wake up. You've heard that over and over again. What is the seeker? Well, I would say that for 24 years, this was a really, really <laughs> just determined to seeker. Not for all the 24. Sometimes in, sometimes off. But generally in this path, and for the last few years, just ate up with it. So, this body cannot wake up, so quit expecting it. What if the body suddenly gets an, an electric pulse through it? Oh, I've heard about that. I've heard that might be a sign of awakening. It, it might be something that accompanies awakening, but it has nothing to do with awakening. The awakening is not about the body. I mean, the very first thing they taught you when you started non-duality was you are not the body. And you went, yeah, I know that. Boy, I'm, I'm, this body's really glad to know that. <laughs> I know I did it too, 24 years. I, 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 trust me, I've put my time in. I don't want to put any more time in. And I'm not. Or at least, you know, I'm not at this point. I, and I haven't been for a very long time. But it could still happen. Who knows? I could... I, uh, <coughs> There's no one here that's permanently awake. See, this is shocking. That's the truth. There's no one here that's permanently awake. And well, many of you think, well, the many of you think that Fred Davis is not awake at all, I'm sure. But there's many, many of you out there who believe that there's something over here that's, that is like a guy in, or it's connected to this guy and it's permanently awake. And I want to tell you, that's not true. There's nothing permanent. There's nothing here to be permanently awake. I'm awake to this arising, this moment, or I'm not, uh, not at all. So since this body is not trying to wake up, let's just do some math. Notice that there is speaking and hearing going on. There's hand movements over here. Oh, it's so an, such an animated character. You have to love it. The, or not. But this is not gonna wake up. So the body's not gonna wake up. The body's not gonna, so does the body needs to have a specific thing happen to it before I can wake up. Is that true? No. <laughs> We're not talking about the body. Well, right now, if you subtract the body that's over there, just subtract it. Just take the body out of the picture. I'm talking to something that can take the body out of the picture. That's the truth. You can, you can actually see that there's no body there. But until you can see that, just release any attachments to the body. Just get the body out, out of there. 
when you and, and or if you don't believe you can, then believe I can. I'm going to subtract this body from our equation that we're working on here. Now, when you subtract this body, what's left? There's no soul. I know nothing about souls. I know nothing about afterlife. I know nothing about any of that stuff. I'm not saying that there can't that, that there can't be dreams that may be along that line or something. I just don't know. But I know it has nothing to do with non-dual reality. It has nothing to do with what we're doing here, which I, I guess is non-dual. I mean, like, it has to be non-dual, but I don't know what even, even that quite means. Just doing something. And the weird that's doing it is a whiteness doing is doing it with a whiteness. When you subtract the body, what do you find? Well, there is in the absence of the body, then there's just this. In the absence of the body, there's just consciousness. Do you really need that body? This is consciousness talking to consciousness. This is awareness talking to awareness. I'm going to use them as the same thing for the moment. Awareness, the same awareness has been listening to this. I just want you to stop and check and tell me, do you need that body? If you will do that honestly, you're gonna to have to do what people do with me in session all the time, which is tell me no. That consciousness doesn't need that body. It need, it may need that body if it wants to express itself objectively. But let me ask you this, the consciousness that I'm speaking with right now, do you really need to express yourself objectively? I don't think so. That's not the case here. And I've seen hundreds of people for whom it was not the case once they checked. So if you're checking and you're coming up with some other answer, you're wrong. You're off base. I don't mean you're wrong three strikes, you're out. I mean you're wrong, change, change your tactics. Because we never change our tactics. We keep doing the same old thing, the same old way and expecting something new to happen. And it doesn't. We keep, we, 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 we're reading books, we're meditating, hell, we're chanting, we're um, prostrating, we're, do, we're doing all this stuff, singing, dancing, begging, rolling, dancing, because at the end of that, there's nothing. You can't wake up later. You can wake up right this minute. Because what I'm talking to is myself. You don't have to wake up. You just have to notice that there's a whiteness here right now. The ordinary, every day, Go, uh, golly, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I've got to go somewhere. That very same dumb old, regular old consciousness. That's it. When we're talking about higher levels of consciousness, I'm going to say that what we're really talking about is how, higher levels of clarity. Awakening is just like this, like a light switch. It's off, it's on. There's no path to get there, but there's plenty to be done once the light is on. That's what this teaching really specializes in. So I hate to put this on the end, at the end of this because I meant to put it at the beginning, but I wanna tell you that there's a new, you, I have a new YouTube channel. It's called Satsang with Fred Davis. If you will search YouTube for Satsang with Fred Davis, I think you'll find 
uh, a news YouTube channel. Virtually nobody has seen it. It's just got three little uh, videos on it at the moment, but I'm going to have to have encouragement before this poll. <laughs> I need more encouragement than what I've got. I've had some welcome, but I've not had the welcome that, that I think needs to be there if I'm going to steal time from what I'm already doing and put it into doing another channel, even though Roland's doing the whole thing. But Roland's doing the whole thing after he and I emailed for about 100 years. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay. You are a wake Ness. There's nothing here to wake up. There is no nothing here that is not awake. You are awakeness. And you are more like a verb than you are a noun. Awakeness doesn't have to wake up. There is no capacity for sleep. And when I talk about clearing up, it ain't clearing up awakeness. I mean, awakeness is always here, always clear. Doesn't need Fred Davis to help it out. So clearing is what? It's just clearing out patterns that are held by the unit. I don't quite understand all of it. I don't understand a lot of stuff, but I do know what works. This works. This works. This teaching works. I think I'll go. Thanks a bunch for signing in and coming to see what I had to say. Thank you. I love you. Bye-bye.